Welcome back, Stocker 23 here, back at Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, checking out some uh, newer models and uh, some updated newer models, I guess you could call them. And uh, we'll start with uh, ZT. This is, what is it? A 0308. Yeah. 308. The, yeah, 0308. And basically bringing back the old ZT. That's what it's. That's what it seems like. It seems like what is it? The the 300, 300 series. 305. I, I mean, believe. this thing's a tank, and the only difference is it's got the tiger stripe and the black. It's all black, um, rather than that tan that a lot of people didn't like. It's got that window kind of like on the uh, R.J. Martin knife. Action is amazing. I've always. I always thought the tiger striping was pretty cool. Basically, it's a heavy stone wash with a, uh, they did stripes with the bead blast. So I don't know how well the corrosion resistance is, even though it is 20 CV steel, should be good. Uh, comfortable in hand, it's, it's, a, it's a beast, to say the least. I don't love the pie clip. That's the same pie clip as on that Les George, the last Les George model. Um, can't ever remember any of their numbers. Perfectly centered, great action. And another thing I noticed they fixed, can't push, or at least on this one, the geometry is right. You can't push that lock bar over like you used to be able to. So that's good to know. But cool offering. I know a lot of people are glad that uh, ZT is kind of getting back to their roots a little bit. And I think it's cool as well pretty smooth all right uh before i go to these next two benchmates i'll go to some new kershaws this one i love the design the turismo the 5505 um I think the design's super cool but i just don't like assisted blades got a, a fuller that goes all the way through and it's I guess a stainless handles and it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. I mean, yeah, that, just got to be stainless. It looks good. You got a probably it looks like a plastic um, file work looking backspacer. Nice deep carry clip. I think it all looks nice. And that blade, it just it's a nice organic looking design. Smaller knife, but like I said, I just don't don't really like assisted knives. I know. It's in D2. I know they're uh, catering to the non-knife people because, let's be honest, they make up a way bigger portion than we do as enthusiasts. Oh, you can middle finger flick it still, but you still have that resistance from here to here. Super smooth before it hits that tension bar, torsion bar. Comfortable in hand. Cool little knife. So if you, if you don't mind the assist, <clears throat> I would say definitely give this one a try. Really cool. Let's see if I can see how thin. It looks like it's pretty, yeah, probably around 20 thousandths, maybe. I don't know. Somewhere in that ballpark. It's a smaller knife. <coughs> uh, let's see, what do I have in my pocket? No, that's reground. Um, let's see, I got my Emerson Mini. Um, cheap dog so it's a little smaller than that but you have a flipper tab here so you probably have about the same grip area <clears throat> all right let's go to another we'll stick to kershaw in that budget realm then we'll go to bench maids we got the 1395 light year buzz light year to the rescue and at that price tag, I want to say this one is in a very budget steel, maybe 3CR, I'm not sure. Very lightweight. It's got the plastic scales all over it, whatever you want to call it. Tip up, left or right hand carry. Um, I don't mind this pot clip. It's a nice pot clip. The screws are countersunk, so that's nice. Uh, perfectly centered. Flipper tab, a designed excellent to where it's canted back some. Got some jimping up there. Good action, it is assisted. Decently comfortable. Um, let's see, you got a little flaring toward the back, not as bad as you see on some of them. So, the edge on this one actually looks pretty good. 
a little wider on this side. <clears throat> you got a uh, bead blasted finish. And is that this uh, China? I'm not sure. Like I said, I would think with the 20 something dollar price tag, it's probably 8CR lower. I would think it's even lower than that. But, you know, for a good little budget knife, I, I like the design overall. Liner lock. And this one, once you release the, the lock bar, from here to here before it hits cinching is super smooth. So it's a shame that they don't put detent holes in the closed position so you could take that out if you wanted to. But I know that would cost them more money. All right, and we got one more last Kershaw. This is the Airlock, uh, another cool design. This one's not super new, but um, <clears throat> new to gems, and I want to check it out. Another one that's in that budget, $29.95. Um, it's got the grippery handles. You got a decorative style pivot. You got a window right here cut to where you can actually see the blade. You got a huge uh countersink hole for that lanyard tip up left or right hand carry i don't love that pocket clip it's just an afterthought in my opinion it might function well though not a whole lot of room um and it's not deep carry so you gotta have about that much sticking out of the pocket a um, little off center to the right perfectly designed flipper tab though See, why can't more companies do that instead of having something that pokes you? Love when it's designed, you know, to where you don't have to think about it. Action's okay. The action was better on the, the one before, the two before this one. Functional jumping up here, it actually grips onto the hand. I like the overall aesthetic of this one. Kind of got like a harpoonish blade, be blasted. Now this one has that funky edge termination that I was talking about. They did not clear the plunge line. See how it comes out right there. Definite smile right there. And on this side as well. Pretty, pretty bad looking, but feels pretty comfortable in hand. I can feel that, wow. That, look how high that ramp up goes on that pocket clip. They could have pulled that down a little bit. That's a little too much. Uh, just uh, some cheap standoffs. So this is you know, definitely a budget. No, um, you don't need any internal milling because you got these big chunks out of the scales. Very lightweight, and it's a smaller one as well. Assisted, if I didn't say it already. So there you go. Got two Benchmades. One that um, <clears throat> I know somebody was asking me. They wish they said they could have got one of these after I showed it on one of my videos. Well, if anybody was interested in this knife, my local shop has one left. So definitely give them a call. I will, I shall, I'll try to leave a, their number down below. Um, and that is if it's still available by time, you know, this video is up, but that is, here's the price tag. This is the 565-2101 Mini Freak. This is the, bla uh, the um, SHOT Show exclusive, the SHOT Show that didn't even happen. <laughs> I got this one. And I thought they only had one, or I would have did this video beforehand. Um, it's got the S90V blade, jade scales. <clears throat> got that bug out pocket, pocket clip on there. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to do this. The limited lighting there. You got limited edition S90V. Cool knife. And this one's not broken in, but I'm sure could easily be broken in perfectly centered got the green standoffs i'll show this one last but i just wanted to show y'all that it there is one available if anybody's interested and this is one that i was contemplating on picking up but i got something else instead <clears throat> this is the newer bug out the 535-3 uh there's a the price tag this is the carbon fiber and s90v still super lightweight um let me see it almost looks like is there a slight contour can't really tell it's either a slight contour they did a great job of softening those edges because it is very comfortable in hand um stone washed s90v <clears throat> basically the same setup as the original uh bug out but 
I'm not sure. Do the originals have standoffs or the backspacer? I can't really recall because mine's been modded so much. Uh, the only reason that I didn't buy this one because I have in my pocket my favorite bug out is the one I got reground because after using this one with that thin, thin edge and that thin stock, this thing is a laser beam so if i were to buy this one i would have to get it sent off to my buddy brian at transparent knives to do the same treatment to it because i would never use it over the, this one in s30v with that regrind so there you go brian do the standard ones have the backspace or is it standoffs i don't recall so it's uh oh it's that plastic that goes together yeah okay so yeah this one being that you got carbon fiber, you do have a aluminum blood backspacer lanyard hooked to it. And let's see, is it just, yeah, pure carbon with the little uh, insert stainless that houses just the locking mechanism. This one needs to be broken in as well. Uh, perfectly centered. That's good to see that they're perfectly centered. All the ones I've checked out today Brian looks okay up until the back right here. Um, but it looks good on this side. So there you go. That is uh, the bunch of knives for this week. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Um, if anybody was wanting any of these knives, contact, um, call Brian. Call Hall Gems and ask for Brian. He will take care of you. All right, guys and girls, hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.